have some fun in the Ocala National Forest. We see a lot of other cool stuff and maybe, just maybe, have a bit of aviation later on in the video. We'll, we'll show you what more about that a little bit later. <laughs> I, would, I would like to know about that. You would like to know about that? Well, there should be a video previous to this that gives you a few hints. If you haven't watched that, too bad. Poor oh, fellas. <sighs> truck and we're going to go to um, our first spot will be in Ocala National Forest I think it's off of uh, 19 and 10 mm. where they uh, filmed 1939 1940 1946, <coughs> 1946? I thought it was later than that. anyways the yearling movie with um, Grant yeah I forget who the people are in it Tra no No, that's a race car driver. That's very great. Don't, don't. He doesn't need to embarrass himself anymore. We'll wait until the, we'll wait until the Google um, search expert in the back uh, tells us some more information on but that. We're gonna go <laughs> look at that movie yeah, set. Yeah, and this was the 1946 movie set, not the 1994 movie set. Just yeah. to clarify that. Yeah, I there we go. There There's only 5.5 miles to walk, so it should be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Then we're going to see if we're going to drive some of the trails out mm -hmm. there. That's why we brought the truck with four-wheel drive and. Not a sponsor, but our Hercules uh, all terrain tires. All terrain, or uh, they're, they're commercial grade tires. Oh, Terra Tracks TG Max tires. Nice. And then we might look at Juniper Springs, which is a natural spring in Ocala National Forest. And then we'll probably come home because we'll be exhausted. Yeah. So, but we're going to try to um, stop at one Walmart or so. And um, see if we can pick up more die cast that we don't need. Exactly. Particularly NASCAR trucks. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome NASCAR trucks. Mmm, I love them. <laughs> They're awesome. So, if you have not seen the NASCAR trucks, check out your local Walmarts. If you can find if them. If you can find them, because they're awesome people. <clears throat> Beautiful job. Even the, the even the decals for once are excellent. They're like excellent. Excellent. Really good. Yeah, excellent. Really good. Mm. Man, they did a good job. So really like that. Because the one is the raced um, dirt derby truck. So it's after the race. It has the tire marks, dirt on it. Really that. cool. It's the winner's truck. Oh, and then the other one, of course, that very famous number eighty-eight. Lime greenish yellow color Check out this with Porsche. the uh, um, 88. It's really cool. Where and there's the Bush. Bye bye, Bush. Wow. He's a long way from home. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Cool trucks. So, we will probably talk to you guys in a few. See what we're doing then. See you at the beach. So, but yeah. At the beach. And, and then after the beach. We've never driven on the beach. That's why yeah, we're doing We've this. never never driven on the beach. We walked on the beach, looked at the beach, but we've all never sides driven of on the beach. On all sides of the state of Florida, we've walked on the beach. What side? Not driven on it. Awesome. All the way down at the bottom. And all the way at the bottom. We've done any in Jacksonville, though. No, not yet. Yeah, so. Jacksonville. So that would be a good thing in Jacksonville. Yeah, so. Anyways, that's a good idea. Coming soon to another day trip. Yeah, yeah. Right. Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Maybe. Yes, anyways, for
driving on the beach and uh, how, how does it feel Todd? It feels pretty good. The uh, Hercules Terramax tires are doing their job just fine. We've gotten four wheel high just because it is a little bit soft. Right. Doing our 10 mile an hour. But it feels good. So awesome. then for a heavy truck too there's a lot of sand. We just saw that Focus go by they were doing okay but you know to a degree you do have to keep a little speed up. Yeah so, you can't just stop. But, or anything. Yeah. That's your problem if you bring a front wheel drive car to the beach. Well, remember that one's a, that was a Ford Focus ST, it's so it's wheel got all wheel drive. Oh, yeah, that so helps out. yeah, so that helps really helps it. Power yeah, 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 yeah. So. Exactly. But yeah, four wheel drive does a lot yeah. for you. So. But it feels yeah, good. I mean, having lived in Florida for this long and, and not driven the beach is kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. So we picked a nice time of early day, but mm -hmm. not too many people to dodge. So a lot of big boats out here today too. So what have you thought about about it, uh, Travel Adventures? Been cool. We got some cool pictures, video. Can't wait to show up. Cool. So yeah, a lot of fun. You got a nice sea breeze going here too. It's pretty fairly warm here in Florida. Not not oppressive yet, but it's gonna from get my there. My collection, I but think yeah. that means the traffic ends. Oh, uh, it says so. Isn't that what you think? Yeah, well, no, maybe. It says traffic lanes both ways. Well, it's just. Oh well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right? Pretty cool though. Check uh, if you ever in the Daytona area, you guys try to bring your car oh, down and stuff. So, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, those pelicans are always cool. So. Anyways, but yeah, come down to Florida if you're at Daytona Beach, try to drive on the beach. Pretty cool. Yes, here we are in the Ocala National Forest. We're on the no Wi-Fi, so yeah. So we're heading to that movie set that I have no idea what it is, but my brother and sister seem to know what it is. So we'll see that. So 1946, but ancient. <laughs> see if it's still together. MGM. Cool. Well, when we get there, we'll show you what it looks like. But yeah, pretty nice trails out here in the Ocala National Forest. Luckily, it rained recently, so all the trails are nice packed down. So that makes it a little bit more fun. Don't have to get stuck in the sand or anything. Yeah, dust is down, so that's helpful. Anyways, we'll see if we get to where we want to go. And if we don't, we'll just have to go back to the truck again. Welcome to one of our most famous Florida sinkholes. See around the corner. 
it off? Oh, oh. I'll go find it. I think it's back here. <laughs> So we lost the uh, little plastic piece there, people. Oh yeah, look at that, it dripped off. Look at that. It's messy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Just make sure we didn't damage anything. Yeah. I did wonder, but there was one dip where I was moving uh, and it really, it really shot it. Oh, Got new front end parts, but we don't want to break anything if we don't have to. Exactly. The four wheel drive having that was definitely helpful. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the really well though. Yeah. Truck. It that probably is a little rough to actually be driving on, just like mom said. <laughs> mom is always right. So maybe a little bit slower would have been helpful. Yeah, maybe. But everything looks good so far. Yeah. There's always this amount of space right here. Yeah. Okay, very good. Kind of Just making sure. Plus it's been kind of rubbing from the tire anyways. Alright, very good. So like A plus rating so far other than the extra. Oh, the tires handle really well. For the yeah. most part we are running just four high. Right. And that seemed to do the trick for us. So but yeah, I like the tires. I think in the soft dirt that we are running, they handle really well. Like I said, for optimum performance, I don't wheel a lot. Right. But um, for probably better performance, if you drop that tire pressure in the back a little <laughs> bit more, it probably would have even been better. But we'll take you back through what I did drive. And I didn't, um, never got stuck. So kept it in um, three or two on the transmission. Got to be kind to these 4L80s. Yeah. But um, it seemed like it did well. So we'll have Bear jump back in. We'll see if we can go catch up with Amy. Exactly. If we can find it. <laughs> This is the only damage that we can see so far. They just ripped it to right the truck, off. yeah. So <laughs> this is another damage that we found I, too. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of think it would be a casualty. I was hoping not, but it ended up being a casualty. And one more casualty that Amy doesn't know about. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Bye bye Baja. Your Mountain Dew died. Say, I didn't realize you were gonna get it so fast. Yeah, I didn't realize it. So your Mountain Dew's all over the floor. Man. Yeah, we're sorry. No, no, we're oh, sorry. No, <laughs> Whatever, like everything that's... is down there is all sticky though. Yeah. <laughs> oh well guys. Yeah, I didn't think that was about fun. you about that. Yeah, I didn't think about it. Yeah. But I knew it was gonna shit. Casualties!
right guys so here we are for the very first time going to try and get this um, drone out of the bed of the pickup and so uh, what we got to do is we need to turn on our controls nice simple little thing you gotta do I gotta remember where the switch is though oh there it is very good drone nope not a pro first time doing this so very good so that is trying to pair with the drone turn on the drone here also turn on the camera that's another good idea there we are oh wonderful no battery yep all right now we gotta fix the city camera guys so hold on all right guys so now that we've got the battery replaced on the camera for the drone it's rainy so we'll see what happens here all right so the drone is on That was interesting. Yeah. Hoping this is gonna look good. Ready? It's tipping back. Is he going forwards? Ready to go. <laughs> Which way is he going? Tell him it's going backwards. Okay, then turn it around backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Must be too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's flying! Look at that! Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. So as you saw, the drone could not fly under the weight of the camera. So obviously, it's built to go solo by itself. Nothing attached to it. Alright guys, so we stopped off here at Juniper Springs on our uh, little road trip uh, here in Florida. So this is Juniper Springs, back there is the springs. Also you have the nice little water works going on there, so really cool how that works. And then right over here is the creek, Juniper Creek from the springs, so that's pretty cool. Also they have an old bridge up here, this is kind of cool, Let's see how this looks. Yeah, nice little path that just follows the spring all the way around, so pretty cool. Yeah, look at this old bridge, guys. Man, that's cool. Very nice. Oh, and here we go, guys. Let's look straight down there. That's that's a pretty cool uh, view there. If it's a little bit brighter, it'd look even better, but yeah, pretty, pretty cool view. Nice. Springs National Park, part of the Ocala National Forest. Pretty cool. Have a very nice water wheel. Also have a lot of cool um, paths along the um, spring and the creek. So very, very cool. So uh, I think it's like um, how much is it per person, Todd? Five fifty per person. It's five. Pass. Yeah, so five fifty per person um, on the vehicle for like uh, day parking, day use. So uh, yeah, not a, not, a, not a bad deal. So. Beautiful lot, spring. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff to see. Quite a few paths. Well, I think there's a bike path around here too. There's a campground so, there. Yeah, campground, RV parking. So yeah, that's quite a bit here. So National Florida Trail or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Florida Scenic Trail. We also just had crazy Florida drivers too. Ooh. 
thousands. So anyways guys, yeah, if you're in the area of Canada National Forest, check out Juniper Springs. Pretty cool.